Greetings travellers and welcome to the channel and today we're going to be heading out to Haworth in West Yorkshire which is also known as the Bronte village or Bronte country. The village of Haworth is located close to Bradford and it's within easy reach of Keighley either by bus or at times by steam train via the Keighley and Worth Valley Railway. So in this video we're going to take a walk around Haworth village, we're also going to take a, a walk over Haworth Moors as well. Haworth itself is famous for its cobbled streets and its 19th century buildings. I'm going to tell you a bit about the history of the village and its connections to the famous Bronte sisters who were responsible for some of the most influential books in English literature. Those books were Jane Eyre, Wuthering Heights and The Tenant of Wildfell Hall. The Bronte sisters Anne, Emily and Charlotte spent most of their lives in Haworth and took inspiration from the rugged scenery. One of the most popular shops in Haworth is the Cabinet of Curiosities and it used to be an apothecary so you'll find lotions and balms and bath salts and, and stuff like that. I'd really recommend going and checking it out but it's quite tight in there so make sure you get there early. But first click that like button if you want to see some more videos from Yorkshire. Okay. Let's get on with it. Now as we walk down Haworth High Street, on the left here there's actually a bookshop that's called T Venables. I think it's called T Venables Books and Stuff, something like that. But it says T Venables, no, not Terry, because obviously it doesn't belong to Terry Venables. Although, interestingly, they do have Terry Venables autobiography in the window, so there is a suspicion that it was actually set up by Terry Venables and it's just a way of selling his autobiography, but I'll let you decide. Now as you can see there's lots of really interesting shops in Haworth, so I'd recommend just taking a look around and just seeing what's available. There's lots of interesting bars and restaurants and shops that sell quirky gifts. Now as I mentioned earlier, you can get a steam train to Haworth, so you can start off in Keighley and then you can get a train all the way to Haworth and also you can get a ticket back as well. Now just bear in mind that they don't always have steam trains available, but if the steam trains aren't running then they have diesel trains as well and we're talking old 60s style diesel trains, so they're still a really good experience anyway. Like most of West Yorkshire, Haworth village was founded on industry. While today Haworth is a picturesque village, during the time of the Brontes it was in fact a very poor place and compared to the slums of London. If you are interested in English literature, you'll definitely want to visit the Bronte Parsonage Museum. The museum is full of exhibits on the Bronte family and their work, and it's a great place to learn about their lives and their writing. If you're looking for something a little more active, you can take a walk on the Haworth Moors and Peniston Hill. The moors are really beautiful and they offer stunning views of the surrounding countryside. So we're now going to take a walk around Peniston Hill and show you some of the stunning views that overlook the Worth Valley and Haworth itself. Peniston Hill Country Park used to be a sandstone quarry, but that closed in the 1960s. Mm. 
Many believe that the name Peniston Hill derives from a gambling game that local men used to play on the hill which was called Game Penny Stone. Heathcliff, make the world stop right here. Make everything stop and stand still and never move again. Make the moors never change and you and I never change. Now we love walking with the dogs on the moors around Haworth. In summer the views at sunset are always spectacular and in the winter the rugged and wild terrain provides constant inspiration. We hope you enjoyed the video, click here to see where we go next.